Sometimes you feel like a nut. Good morning, farmers. It's the ninth day of April. Still no rain in the forecast, which is good for us. So what jobs we have available for us? And looks like I got to hire some more workers as well. Ooh, transport, my favorites. Transport. Ooh, plow the field. Is there one job? No, there's two jobs there. Plow the field. Looks like there's two plow field jobs there. Fix the building. So we're going to kind of leave this to last. I'd rather do fix the building and plow jobs, obviously. But before we get started, uh, I'm going to try... Wait, wait a minute. Is this one plowed, cultivated? All right, so this one's ready to be seeded. Yeah, we'll, we'll mm -hmm. hire someone to plant peas there because, you know, yeah, I know, plants and, but we're, you know, we may not be harvesting a lot of this stuff. We'll be too busy doing jobs, all that fun stuff. Uh, that's done. Ooh, plowed, cultivated. Uh, lupine. So there's three workers, so we got to hire one more. What field did I, I plowed that one up there. I can try hiring that someone for that field up there. The one we just plowed the other day. I'm sure it's going to say cannot find worker, cannot find worker. But I believe I can hire someone to, to sow the field, which doesn't make sense. But then again, this is Farmer's Dynasty Early Access. Nothing makes sense. Uh, I should just focus these fields down here. So that one's ready. Uh, so I need to have someone plow this field here. Right? Wait a minute. Wait, wait. Is that right? Yeah, it hasn't been plowed or nothing. Yeah, so plow the field. Now I got to get that marker off. So it looks like there's a couple jobs at the church. So that's what we'll head in our lovely tractor that we repainted. It's almost kind of the color from episode one, which seems like it was ages ago. Do I have... I got plenty of fuel. So let's get out of here and get to work. I'm interested in plow the field jobs. So I, like I said, I got to head up to the church in Redberry. That's the name of the town that we're headed to. How are we doing on social? I haven't really been paying attention. Yeah, we're creeping up there. Slowly but surely. Come on, don't stop. Get going. Looks like our grass is starting to grow. And the field is that... Well, we got two fields with grass in it. Someday. Someday we'll be able to mow it. And, uh, <laughs> make bales out of it. I'm kind of hoping that these two plow the field jobs are nice sized fields. That's the field that we plowed yesterday. I got to get to cultivating it, obviously, because I just tried hiring a worker for it. And Farmer's Dynasty said, no can do. Which is fine. No rush to do our fields this year. The only thing I care about when September comes, all of our fields are ready to be planted with canola in a couple of weeks. Actually, I may not even do any wheat at all this year for the winter harvest. Well, because we're going to feed the cows sometime in July. We know the cows can go a year and a half easy, so we may just do all canola. What the heck's today? Today's a Monday, but look at the people at the church. Uh, so it looks like David. Hey, David, we'll, we'll talk to you first. Good morning. So we can tell by the price roughly how big the field is. So I'm looking for a price over 1500 
There's a field nearby that needs plowing. Will you do it? I got a tractor and a plow. That is a small field. Sounds good. I'll take care of this. That is a small field, but it's a field nonetheless. Calvin. Calvin. One day it'll be all Calvin. Here you are. Hello there. So many conversations going on in the background. Oh, uh, hopefully you got a better job than the previous dude. There's a field nearby that needs plowing. Will you do it? Where you're from, I don't think this field's gonna be nearby, and that's not that big of a field either. But you know what? I'll take care of this. Like I said before many times, we don't care anymore. We're just here to do some jobs. So that's the field we've done before. So I think we'll head over to this field here. Let me mark down the small one. We'll get that one done. It's just around the corner. A very, very small field. And I think it was the one I thought I was going to do the other day and then it being around the corner. And I was wrong about what field we were going to do. So let me switch the plow over. I want to say it was Wyatt that we talked to here. Yep, this little small field right here. Alright, turn on the double axle. Oops. Extend the camera out so I can see what the heck I'm doing. Yeah, this is like a half hectare field or something. 0.6. So, we'll zip right through this. The other field's not that big either. I think that's maybe like a hectare and a quarter. But we're doing it just for the social points, man. That's what we're here for. I'm not going to get a great amount of social points from these two fields, but... It all adds up. Yeah, I know I was hungry. I, was hung I saw I was hungry before I uh, went to bed. Before I started recording. Then I raided the pantry to see what the wife is doing. I did collect a few mushrooms that were around the fireplace. Put them in the pantry so the wife can maybe cook some... Well, I don't... Maybe she cooks pizza and fish and... I mean, you can put mushrooms on pizza with baked fish and, you know, a cheeseburger. So, <laughs> who knows what she does with the mushrooms, but there's mushrooms down there for her to do whatever she pleases with. And I'm not going to complain. I got a great wife here. She, you know, she kind of feeds the chickens. She kind of pulls weeds out of the yard. And, uh, yeah, she bakes tier 3 cooking. Why is it lately, every time I plow, I get an NPC walking along the field? Yeah, walk down that way. Walk this way. Uh, tee it up. There we go. So, with the two, well, the two fields that we're plowing, we're going to get, like, pretty close to 3,000, uh, yeah, 3,400 social points. Which, you know, let's be honest, it's not bad. Well, I was hoping to get some of the big fields around here, but looks like a lot of the fields are already growing so but it wouldn't be out of the ordinary for the NPCs to have me plow a field with crops in it but at this point I'd rather wait until the crops are ready to harvest and they say hey can you plow that field and I'm like sure can <laughs> let me go get my harvester first <laughs> of course you don't get no social points for harvesting the crops before you plow but you sure do get the money for it And of course, you know, the farmer may be ticked off. They may be growing crops so you can plow into it to get better fertilization out of it. And you're just <laughs> harvesting their crops. But, hey, they're not there to watch us. They don't know. And if we get a little bit uh, extra time today, 
in the episode, we might plow one of the small fields by our farm. That one, I think it's 1.3 hectares. Won't take us too long to do. See what time of the day it is. Yeah, I know I'm plowing, David. I'm not too hungry. It will be interesting to see... Did I not raise it? Okay. When this so-called update comes out, when you get hungry or tired, you're supposed to get more clumsy. Which I don't think that takes effect yet in the game. So my guess is when you get clumsy, the tractor will just wobble everywhere like this or something. I don't know. I will say it has been rather nice to see the dev development team or production team, whoever. It's been a different person responding here and there in the discussion forum. Even though they're not saying when the update's going to come out or exactly what they're working on other than improvements and adding a couple of things. It is nice to know that they're still staying in touch. Uh, answering some questions that some players are having. Most of the questions I'm seeing people are having, and I, I've said this a few times, a lot of people are having time with runtime errors on, on the game. I've had a couple of errors lately hiring workers. Like if I hire a worker, sometimes hiring a worker can crash my game. So if I do a lot of work and I go to hire some workers, it's like, uh, let me let me save this before I start hiring workers. Because the, ga well, the game doesn't crash, just the game just freezes. And I have to go to the task manager and close out the game and restart. But hopefully when they optimize the game and the update, a lot of these problems will be handled and fixed. Oh, you're going to wait for me, fella? So nice of you. If only AI traffic did that in Farming Simulator where they kind of stop. They pretty much in Farming Simulator don't stop until they run into your much bigger vehicle and you go flying and they just stand still. It will be kind of fun though when we do reach the 1 million social point mark to probably buy all the fields and just have, of course we can only have 4 workers at a time. That will be interesting because if you try to get 3 harvests per year out of every field, even having 4 workers at a time and you helping out, I don't think it's going to be possible to maintain every field to get three harvest out of it. Alright, one more pass and we should get a completion. Don't want to run into these apple trees that don't produce any apples yet. I'm hoping one more pass will do this, but maybe not. Yeah, probably not. Need to get to 96%. And apparently wasn't enough. Yeah, so all these big fields down here. I think we only got one job down here for those fields. And those are pretty decent sized fields. Yeah, we'll finish up this field because there's no crops in it. We won't get penalized. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I'm working on it here. 
Uh, we'll just have a pizza, because that's 100%. Alright, we'll go back and collect this job. Gotta go kind of past the farm. Yeah, the farm. Uh, the, the church. That's what they call those things. Churches. We gotta go past the church anyways. Hopefully he's still there and we'll head to the other field, which I know exactly which field it is. Plowed it last year when it had grass in it. See if I can get kind of uh, sneaky and get up close to... Uh, who is it, David? Thank you. Good enough. So 1,200 po uh, social points. Not a great total. I mean, I was hoping to get to 700. Uh, yeah, 700. Yeah, well, 730,000 today. When I saw two plow the field jobs, I'm like, oh, let them be like a big one in there somewhere. All right, this field is kind of a funky field to plow because it's not quite squarish too much. Uh, yeah, I think I'll start down in this corner. Now, this field you got to be kind of careful of because, yeah, even though it's just grass, when I complete the mission, if I go over any grass, it'll say you're damaging crops. So I'm going to get working on this, and I'll see you in a bit. I will have to say I'm plowing this field better than last time. Last time I must have had a couple beers or something because wow. <laughs> I'll see in patches I miss them like like this big patch here. I'm like, what the heck was I doing? I think what I probably did is I started from this corner of the field which has a bigger curve into it, so I was trying to stay on the edge of the field which made a you know, I came from down here and it's got the curve there. So I think through the whole field I was trying to make a tight curve with a plow, which is something you don't do. Uh, in gaming, sure, why not? In real life, no. <laughs> you don't turn with a plow down. But anywho, as you can see, we're just about finished. Like that. And I don't want to plow anymore in case there's little blades of grass up if I happen to hit the blade, you know, hit the grass. Uh, I'll lose social points and uh, that's not what we're here to do we're here to gain social points let's go up and get our social points let's cross the railroad track we don't care if the train comes because he'll just go right through us I did that test a while back I don't know how long ago that it's in an episode somewhere I have no idea where but it was a while ago. We parked the tractor right on the on the tracks and the train came along and went right through. Let me out. Yeah, make sure we got our scaffolding with us. Show everyone, hey, we got scaffolding. No, thank you. Alright, so let's go and hopefully this... Uh, House inspections to the good paying one. Alright, you're gonna stop. That's fine. No sense of hopping over to the Jack Bear when we got our tractor right up here anyways. Sophia. A lot of grass up here that could be mowed. Although if they do come out with jobs that involve mowing, I hope they give us more than a weed trimmer. Actually, I didn't check. The job was here. It's been a couple in-game hours, so maybe the job isn't here. Nope, they're down here now. 
<laughs> uh, yeah. Um, yeah, I'll see you in a second because, you know, you just saw me drive here. So, yeah, I'll, I'll see you in a second. I hope it will change someday, after all. Hi there. Good evening, friend. All right, we're looking for work. I'm looking for work. Got anything for me? Some t you most of the time give me the good paying job, dude. Some care. What do you think? But why today? Yeah, of course. Sounds good. I'll take care of this. And I think this time I'm gonna leave my tractor there because we want to see the Jack Bear. The Jack Bear C. A.K.A. John Deere. So, uh, yeah. This barn over here, we've uh, done many house inspections on it. Let's pop right in here. Beams look good. Uh, bricks and foundation look alright. Yeah, I think he's good. Yep, keep paying me to do your house inspections. That always works out well for you. So I'm going to drive the tractor and plow down to the field that we might plow in a little bit. Where's this transport job in the middle of flipping nowhere? No bus stops. No teleport vehicles to go to. I'm not destroying crops. Yeah, I gotta check on my workers as well to see which ones are done, which ones aren't. But uh, I'll bring you back when I get over to the transport job area and see what uh, what's up. Arriving at the scene of the crime. Looks like it's Sam I am. Question is, where are you gonna send me to get your package, dude? Are we going down to see Sam? Steve, hello. Good be over three hundred bucks. Be over three hundred bucks. That's all I care. Make it at least worth work. worth my while Got to drive down here. Me? There's something I need, indeed. Care to bring the package to me? Yeah, that's my why I'm here. Has it now. Kind of. Oh man. All Sounds right. Sounds good. I'll take care of this. I don't. I you know I do look at the price just to see what the. Social points is going to be, so it's 500 social points. Yeah, all of our workers are depleted. Uh, Steve, I need the package, Steve. I'm here for the package. Nice cutscene. Sure, there it is. Yep, right in the barn. We're both in the barn. That's fantastic. All right, back up here. Hey, Sam. Quick enough? Here's the package you requested. Yeah, lazy bum. See how quick Thank that you. was? There's something for you. Fantastic, dude. Thanks. Alright, so we're at 726,000. So maybe next episode we can creep to the 730. I'm kind of hoping by the end of this season we can get up to 900,000, but I think that's a long stretch. Uh, not getting as many plow jobs as I thought to begin the year. It looks like everyone didn't want to wait and they went ahead and planted all their fields. I mean, it's just crops in every field, it's about. The one thing I remember is I it used to be this van didn't use up fuel, but now that I can see this van is using fuel, not that it's a big deal. We got the cash to stockpile our barn or I can stop and just gas up. But it's supposed to be cheaper if you buy it in bulk, which I haven't really tested. Because it's not like it says when you go buy gas, like, oh, you're paying so much per a liter at the pump. Or if you buy a thousand liters at a time, it's like, oh, you're getting this much of a discount. I don't, never really has said so for me. But it's been a while since we bought fuel. Alright, so this is the field because it's only... I'm just checking my food and sleep. It's only like 1.30 in the afternoon. This is the field that we're going to plow. So 
So let me get started on this and I'll bring you back in a little while. So I'll see you in a second. As I'm plowing this field, I just realized our cultivator is down by the big field. Because if you remember at the end of last season, I said, oh, the first job we'll do is do the big field. Probably the last job I do will be the big field. And all of our equipment's down, well, was down there. At least the plow is up here now. I mean, I guess I could just go to the store, leave that cultivator down there for those fields, and buy a second cultivator and just leave this that one up here for these fields. They're not that expensive. But it's also not too far to go down to get the cultivator either. I'm also taking a weird approach and plow in this field. I never went, go from edge to edge. But it's the way it worked out this time in this field for some reason. So, yeah, here I am. The reason why I never I got in the habit of doing the way I was doing it, or usually do it, is because, like I said before in the last episode, in the old days, the way it was to plow, you get stuck in one of these divots that the plow creates, and the tractor would just get like pulled in there and stuck there, and it wouldn't like come out too well. But now it's not too bad, so you can kind of plow through it. So. Yeah, it's not that bad anymore. What's the percentage we're at? 97%? Yeah, okay. I shoot for 98%. I prefer 99 and I'm not going to do the whole field to try to get 100% done. There's a 98% and I'm pretty sure if I do this little section down here, I can get to 99%. And once we do, we're going to call it a day. Plowed three fields, did a house inspection, and a transport job. And I'm going to go see if the wife did any cooking today. Because I raided the pantry and took all the tier three stuff out and put the mushrooms in. So I'd be kind of curious to see what she did. I mean, hey, she's doing something. Yeah, 99% in the field plowed. That's good. And I'm just going to leave the tractor and the plow parked right here in our field. It's not going to hurt nothing. It's not like someone's going to plant crops in them or anything. Now, I did hire some workers. We're down to two workers again. But I think just about every field... Yeah, so I didn't hire a worker for this field here. This is when the harvester got stuck on the telephone pole, but it looks like he's doing okay. He's up to 65% plowed there. Uh, workers hired to cultivate the field. He's cultivating that field. And that field is plowed, apparently. At 99%. But I'll hire him tomorrow. I try not to hire too many workers in a save game because, like I said, sometimes I, I've been having issues with workers causing the game not to load or, or crash. Not too often, but it seems to happen when I only have workers going, so I try to be a little cautious about it. Our slurry tank is back up to 6%. Which is fine, just, just want to make sure that I have emptied it. Going over here and check the greenhouse, it should be okay. I think we just watered it a couple days ago. But it is early in the season, and yes, early in the season it will get kind of dry. Nope, well, well the wife's cooking, so maybe she's got stuff down in the pantry. So let's go take a quick peek. Uh, open. So I did put five mushrooms in here. So what we got? Okay, maybe I put six mushrooms down here because they're, either they're growing. But she's cooking stuff and I don't see... Well, whatever. Hey, we don't have to, you know, devour on, you know, 20 eggs a day to survive. Actually, I'm going to go up here and end the episode. Not in here, but up here. Where I need some patio furniture and a, and a mini fridge. 
get to watch, you know, the town folk go by. If when we do get kids at some point, you know, you keep an eye on them watching the plate, you know, in the playground, you got a nice view of the little pond dish down there. But uh, that's going to do it for today, guys. Like always, I appreciate you watching. Hopefully you enjoy the episode. And I'll see you next time on The Day in the Farm. But until then, have a good one.